Hello and welcome to my tutorial on merging your face in with the picture. But uh, yeah. That feels completely stupid, but yeah, I'm using Photoshop CS4 portable. And I'm going to merge this photo of me. It's it's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna merge that photo of me into the Hulk. Because that's something I'm gonna do. First thing that we want to do is get rid of the. There's usually a little lock on it like that. First thing you're gonna do is just lift that up, drag and move in, so it's gone. Your access always. Again, drag the layer, put it down. Yep, you now got two layers. You can say. Make the second la the first layer invisible, and on top. Just use the eraser and erase a part of the face like, like this. It's while well, we put it on um soft. Oh, shit. Put it on soft, works a lot better. and just simply erase his, half his face like that. That's pretty much it. That's it. There it is. And you go back to your picture that you want to change the thing to. You can either use the, the polygonal lasso tool and trace around the face. Or you could click this little icon down here at the bottom of your little toolbar thing. Click that. Click that. Click the paintbrush and just go over your face. Just like that. Click it again. You've got it. Selected, but you don't actually have that part selected. You got everything apart from that part selected. So you just go to select up top, inverse. Now you just have the face selected. Control C for copy. Back to this picture. All right. Make sure you click the layer zero, the bottom one, and then control V at paste the picture. A little move tool and there you should have your picture. Depending on what camera you used, depends on different size. Just simply shrink the picture a little like that. So it fits in nice. Or if you don't have what I have, which is like uh, street transformation, just click transformation and scale. It's the exact same. Just get your face into the picture as you like it. Like that, for instance. Maybe make it a bit like that. There you go, you, you pretty much. Right. Click it again, apply the transformation. There you go, you're pretty much done. Simple as that. But I know what you're thinking, it's not green, blah blah blah. Make sure you have layer 1 selected. Go to adjustments, hue and saturation, and just fiddle around with the things till you get a nice green. Just to match the background. This may take a while, so. Okay, there we go. I picked the color that I like, right there. Just double click adjustments and bring up the layer bar again. You'll notice you've got another layer, hue saturation 1. Right click it and just merge down to the face. Simple as that. If you want, you can. 
that's pretty much it done there. But if you want to be really technical about it, just merge the visible layers. So you've got this one photo. Zoom in and just use the little healing tool. I think it's a healing tool, is it? Yep, healing brush tool. Click Alt to get the color that you want, like that, and just patch it up. And just patch it up. Just simple as that. Ah, shit. Ah, shit. Never mind about that. There you have it. Alright, so there you have your picture with the merging face. Simple, go to save as. Uh, save it as a PNG. Well, for you, Chris, since I'm doing this tutorial for you, you raise the background. Shit, that didn't work. That, that didn't work either. Okay. There we go, just... Simply erase the background. Okay, I'll fast forward it for you. There we go. I have just roughly erased all the backline. You got it like that. And uh, just go file, save as. Um, I got to put in a special folder. Projects, self army, done. I'm naming it Hulk because that's what it is. And make sure you save it as a PNG. That way, when you save it, the background will stay invisible. There'll be a lot more when editing more together later on, Chris. Okay, and there you have it. The tutorial on how to move your head into a pitcher's face. Yeah. Adios.